What's up everyone? This is Chichi Penihau and welcome back again to my channel. Kung may mobile phones ka, then makinig ka dahil pasok ka dito sa video ito. Let's talk about mobile phones. Mobile phones today are designed for many, many tasks na marami, na, marami tayong magagawa sa ating mobile phone. Maaring gamitin natin ito as a calendar, maaring gamitin natin ito as a time or timer. No, because ang mobile phone natin na ay may iba't ibang uri ng, uh, ng purpose. So, ang isang telepono na may access sa isang cellular radio system upang maaari itong magamit sa isang malawak na lugar ng walang physical na connection sa, in sa isang network. So, aside from using our phones as a communication with our friends, with our loved ones, even in our uh, source of social medias, no, marami pang gamit yung mobile phone natin. And in fact, pag mayroon kang mobile phone or smartphone, maari mo itong gamitin as MP3 player. No, kung mahilig ka sa music, you can use that for uh, listening for music. Or kung mahilig ka naman sa movie, you can use your mobile phone as a video player. And kung vlogger ka, maaari mo itong gamitin as a digital camera or mobile phone videography. Yes, yung phone mo ay masasabi nating jack of all trades dahil sa iba't ibang uri ng gamit nito. And you know what? Sa ngayong generation natin and today's modernization is slowly redefining the photography and videography industry. Today, anyone with a smartphone can effortlessly record a video and broadcast it to anyone. It takes a lot more than that to do shoot professional footage. Yet, with practice and knowledge of few videos production helps and tips, you can record an award-winning documentary or even a school projects or creating a short video movie with your smartphones. So today, let's talk about 8 mobile videography tips for beginners like you. First, shoot and landscape, not portrait. Ito ang kadalasang mali ng isang YouTubers. It is annoying na makikita natin yung two black vertical bars along both sides of your video footage. Although this is an exemption with the screens that have portrait orientations. It's not for device such as computer or televisions that have landscape-oriented displays. Ang good news ay, you can avoid this mistake by turning your phone on its sides and recording your footage and landscape orientations. Not only will this format make your video more pleasing, but it will also make it more pleasant to watch when viewed on a wide screen. And proper orientation ensures that your subject completely fills the frame. Second thing to consider is lighting. Your smartphones are fitted with LED lights that are incredibly bright and can easily affect the color temperatures of your photos or videos. Thus, instead of rushing to use the flash feature on your phone, consider one of the best source of light, which is the sun, the natural light. And you have to do is face your subject towards the source of light. On the other hand, if you need to record a video at night, you may want to consider another source of lighting apart from the flash feature on your phone. It is essential to avoid backlight setting. This is because while it's possible to see people in their faces 
when they are backlit, your mobile phone camera can't, and it will produce footage with bright light, hollowing a dark figure. Your subject will not have any visible features, meaning you'll miss that you will try to capture. So to avoid backlight, consider the basic light setup and configurations. Third, stability. Although your mobile phone is small and extremely light, it can be held steady using both of your hands and locking your elbows into your body. Alternatively, you can invest in a tripod to eliminate slight involuntary movements that could potentially ruin your videos. Generally, you need an adapter clips for your smartphones when using a tripod. Fourth, avoid using Zoom. It may be tempting to use the Zoom feature on your mobile phone for a closer shot on your subject, but there's nothing as unfortunate as using the digital Zoom which is readily available on your smartphones. What this does is basically incorporate a few software tricks that make your subject seem closer without any substantial amount of fixations. If you want to zoom in using your smartphones without losing the vivid, the quality you want, Simply walk closer to your subject and record your videos. Alternatively, invest in high-tech smartphones that allow you to take tight shots of your subject or objects. Fifth, focus and exposure. Mobile phones will automatically detect and adjust focus and exposure accordingly, which is excellent when taking quick snaps. When it comes to recording a video, you require more manual control to lock this feature and avoid leaving your videos overexposed and out of focus. To control this, simply tap on your subject using your mobile phone's default camera app to manually lock the exposure and focus on your video. You can adjust the exposure and focus of your video while filming. Manually setting the focus is an excellent technique that allows you to get close to the subject or object and need your camera to focus on specific areas. Number six is one of the most important parts, the audio recording. It's no secret that good quality audio is essential for a powerful and professional video. The good news is that the microphones on mobile phones can get the job done. You can invest in audio accessories such as Bluetooth microphones to improve the audio of your videos. Alternatively, you can use external professional microphones that can be connected to your computer to record audio. Seven, try out slow motion and time lapse but don't overdo it. The majority of mobile phones comes with inbuilt slow motion and time lapse feature in the default camera applications. The slow motion mode allows you to capture videos at an accelerated frame rate, which when played back at normal speed, the action in the footage appears such slower than real time. On the other hand, time lapse allows you to record a video at a slower frame rate which when played back at normal speed, the action moved faster 
done in real time. Although these modes are great for capturing excellent videos, it's essential not to overuse them. For instance, the slow motion feature is fantastic for capturing unusual movements that the naked eye can't see, such as an action shots. On the other hand, time lapse is great for videos that span over some time, such as moving clouds, people walking, or the sun sitting among others. And finally, the best part is edit. A little editing here and there goes a long way in making your footage as professional as possible. The best part is that you can do this on your mobile phones so you don't need to buy a fancy or an expensive gadget to get the work done. You can perform necessary trimming, adding transitions, effects, or title using your smartphones. Whether you're shooting a blog or a video, your mobile phone can streamline the process from the beginning to the end to ensure you get the best results. Recording a professional video or a blog video is smooth and effortless considering you have all the tools you need within the stretch of your hands. If you are considering leaving a mark with your next blog or video, apply some of the tricks mentioned for more powerful and professional videos.